Hi there everyone, Mark from Retribution Gaming here and I'm welcoming you back to another Random Sunday Funday. However, this one's going to be a little bit different as we're not going to be playing one game, but we're going to play a selection. But first, just a little bit of backstory. So SNK released their Neo Geo Pocket Color in 1998, but obviously as it was going up against the Game Boy Color, it kind of flopped a little and was discontinued again in 2000. Which is a shame because it was a nice bit of kit. Um, but despite it being a bit of a commercial flop, unfortunately, it was still very highly regarded uh, for things like SNK vs Capcom and King of Fighters R2. By the end of 1999, SNK had sold over 25,000 units in Japan and over 100,000 in Europe. And amazingly, by May of 2000, the Neo Geo Pocket Color had a 2% market share in the North American handheld market. Although, obviously, that's nowhere near the world-dominating power of the Game Boy Color. But for me, it was always the little handheld underdog. It was competing with the Bandai Wonderswan in Japan and obviously the Game Boy in America and Europe and elsewhere as well. Um, but I've always been a bit of a Neo Geo fan. I, I did have a Neo Geo AES a fair few years ago now. Um, I no longer have it anymore, unfortunately. And I did, for a very, very short time, have a Neo Geo Pocket as well with one of the games that I will be featuring in this list. Um, in fact, actually, I think we'll start with. It's one that you may not necessarily think would be released on the system, but here we are. So, let's jump into it, shall we? Sega! Okay, guys, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. You are seeing a Sonic the Hedgehog game on the Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, this is Sonic Pocket Adventure. Um, now, how I'm going to do this is, I think I'm going to do maybe just one level, maybe two, depending on how long they are. I can't remember. I have played this before. Um, but, uh, I don't quite remember the uh, how long the levels are. If you'll notice, though, you'll notice that the, uh, the music is from Sonic 3, strangely enough. Um, but here we are, Neo South Island. Now, South Island is Sonic 2, I think? Anyways. This, I mean, look, it, it looks it looks great. It's, it's a little bit basic, but I'm not going to hold that against it. It moves at a nice, uh, a nice speed. You know, it feels like a Sonic game. And to be honest with you, as I say, I have played this before. I actually really quite like this. So, uh, any of you who are familiar with the Sonic games, obviously you know what to expect from this. But, uh, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog on the Neo Geo Pocket. Nice and, look at that, it's nice and colourful as well. I mean, I love the presentation of this game. They did a, they did a, they, they did a good job with it. You know? Nope. Unlike me, who's failing miserably. But, well, but we know what my gaming's like, if you've uh, stuck with the channel thus far. We know I'm a mid-gamer at best, so... We have our spin dash. Can we do the super peel out? No. <laughs> Not uh, being carried over from Sonic CD then. Oh, hello. Special zone. We got through Act 1. I don't remember what the special zone is actually. Um... Oh, now look at this. You don't see this on a handheld very often. It's a Sonic 2 special zone. Well, these rings are just coming out of nowhere. Okay, so the draw distance isn't great. But, uh... They move slow enough for you to react, at least. Now, 
Now, if you had a Sonic game on the Game Boy Color, and I'm not putting down the Game Boy Color at all because it's a fantastic piece of kit, um, but if you had a Sonic game on the Game Boy Color, I can almost guarantee you, you would not be able to probably pull off something like this as smooth as this is doing. Um, or not back then, anyway. I mean, there's probably... Oh, I'd, I'd have no idea what that was. Um, there's probably some interesting programming tricks you could do nowadays to get something like this running on the uh, Game Boy Color. Because, you know, programmers have got Doom running on a pregnancy test or something. I mean, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. But at the time... This would have been fantastic. I mean, at the time, it still is. Sorry, at the time. Now, a days, it still is. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, now we have some mines. Does this lead us to a Chaos Emerald, though, is the uh, question. I can't remember how many rings I needed to collect now. Did it? Yes, look at that. We get ourselves a Chaos Emerald. And Sonic looks very, very happy with himself. to Neo South Island. Let's get to it then. I'm going to bounce up on that spring. I'm going to bounce onto the spikes. Now, you, only a few of the, uh, it looks, only a few of your rings come out, but unlike some of the other versions of Sonic games, whoops, I'm doing terribly now, uh, which will remain nameless. Actually, no, they won't. I'm going to name them. The Game Gear version and the Oh my god. And the uh, Master System version. You couldn't collect your rings back again. And I think that was because of a limitation with the hardware. Um, whereas this isn't actually a 8-bit console. This is actually a 16-bit console. So there's a little bit more processing power with the older... That's reminiscent of Sonic CD there. Uh, yeah, a little bit more processing power with the Neo Geo Pocket. higher there but now we need to get a load of rings because act two is actually where we will find a boss in fact here we are so let's try not to uh, lose all of our rings on the first boss okay I can I wouldn't able to get another hit in there try this time then. Well, oh, no, he got a hit on me. We've got two rings back though. I've got two on in there though. Now that, if I remember correctly, oh there we go, it wasn't too difficult. When he just stands, uh, moves, you know, stops and hits the ground, it will actually knock your rings off which is irritating, but um, yeah. So, that was Sonic Pocket Adventure. A great little conversion. Um, I'm gonna show you what the next level is actually very quickly before I stop, I'm not gonna do it, but this takes inspiration from a lot of the Sonic games and this is the secret plant zone, but as you can see, I mean, some people's uh, were one of their favourite zones, some not so much. I'm okay with it. Uh, chemical Plant Zone from Sonic 2. So yeah, lots of uh, inspirations taken and we'll just leave them there for the moment. So yeah, Sonic Pocket Adventure. Do you know what? I think after seeing this again right now, I might have to do this as part of my Sonic the Hedgehog series uh, when I revisit it, which I'm hoping to do soon at some point. Um, so yeah, Sonic Pocket Adventure. Neo Geo Pocket, but we're not going to stop there, so let's crack on with the next one, shall we? Now I figured, as we saw, as I mentioned it in the intro and we saw an advert for it, why not give it a go next? This is um, 
a fantastic conversion of a fantastic game. And okay, yeah, the characters are sort of chibified, but don't let that put you off. King of Fighters R2. I mean, on the Neo Geo Pocket. You want to see what it looks like? Okay, let's jump into it then. Now, the Neo Geo Pocket only has two buttons, so you're not going to get a lot of degree of control. Uh, we'll do a single. Yep, this is what the characters look like. Um, Super Babe Team, Orochi Team. Um, play a, Can I not just... Okay, right, fine. Fine, fine. I'm Leona. I did not want to be Leona, but I completely forgot how this how this game works. So anyways, yes. This is um, King of Fighters. I, would have, I wouldn't have minded being Leo, actually, to be honest with you, but... But this is this is a fun little game. Oh, I don't I have no idea what I did there. I, it's, I'm not now. I'm not a King of Fighters connoisseur, so I'm not 100% up on the characters and the moves and everything. Um, I am definitely played more a lot more Street Fighter than King of Fighters. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've played some King of Fighters. I've played some Art of Fighting. I've played some Fatal Fury. Um, but again, like I say, I'm not an expert. Who's going to get the better of me here? Yeah. Winner is Rio. Okay, let's um, try and pull this back a bit. No, you don't. I saw that coming a mile off of you. Slightly better this time. I've got a counter off on him. Out of this super babe team that we I was given here, I think out of the characters I would have probably wanted to be Athena more, because she's probably the one that I'm more familiar with, but even that's not a hundred percent. I mean <laughs> again. I'm not overly familiar with King of Fighters, but it is a fun little game. Uh, okay, that, I have no idea what that was. <laughs> Get over there, Ryu. Right. No, you do not. I do not want to be caught in the. Uh, in the corner. I like that combo though. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. There we go. Don't even think about getting up. So yeah, <laughs> that's me showing how bad I am at King of Fighters. Um, but uh, once again, we're not going to be stopping here. We're only doing that, like I say, the uh, first bit of each game. Yashavo, you're going to have to you're going to have to wait, mate. Um, I'll give you a kicking another day. But uh, yeah, so that's King of Fighters R2. Um, we're going to move on to a game that SNK I think are kind of quite well known for. Um, 
What is it? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Now this is one of those games, yeah, Metal Slug. One of those games that I love, but I'm just not really good at. Um, there's a lot of those, but uh, come on, let's just get into it. Right. So, here we are, airdropped into the uh, enemy territory. I don't think I've actually ever played this version before. I've played the um, I've played the version on the Game Boy Advance. I've played the version on the PS2, and I've played I've played multiple versions on the PS2, and I've played the version on the um, Neo Geo. I can't remember if I had I had a Metal Slug game on the Neo Geo when I had one. Um, I couldn't tell you which one it was. Uh, I'm not that much of an expert in Metal Slug tell you which one's which. Oh. But yeah. As I say, I'm not very good at it. Um, but it is... It is a fun game. Don't get me wrong. is just um, somewhat chaotic. <laughs> oh, that little bit of health, I should have left that. Um, you're doing a bit better this time though, hang on. You're the guy that took me out last time. Won't be letting that happen again. side oh hello now this is this is what we're talking about this is our titular metal slug um, it's what is it? it's a little tank lieutenant Gruber would be proud um, and yes that was an hello hello reference <laughs> um, Than I was before. I've kind of got into the swing of it this time. But again, we're only going to do. Are you a boss? No. There is one caveat that comes with uh, the uh, tanks, though, is the fact that when you turn or when you rotate, your uh, your gun sort of rotates around as well. So you kind of, when you move, you rotate your cannon. Um, so it does make things a little bit trickier, but once you kind of get used to that a little bit, you're good to go. Ah, oh, look, oh, no more metal slug for me. Oh, a plane. Okay. Oh, I have bombs as well. Okay. I only have 14 bombs, it seems. Interesting stage. Uh, I, pick that up? I don't know what. Oh, okay. I've got a laser cannon now instead of a. Uh,
to fly into that. This thing looks scary. I'm guessing I need to uh, hit the uh, top of it. Stay in between its uh, Gatling gun fire. Okay, it's not as scary as it seems. It hits hard though. Okay, there we go. Do you know what? I got up to the boss. I might leave it there for this one. But that's not all the Metal Slug goodness that uh, the Neo Geo Pocket had. Because we also have Metal Slug Second Mission. So if you want more Metal Slug, then we got you covered. My first one. Yeah, okay. The front line. Heavy machine gun. Pineapple. Pineapple. Heavy machine gun. Digitized speech. Oh, I don't like that. Give me a different weapon. Diagonally. Okay, so I still have this grenade launcher. Aha, shotgun. Pineapple. Pineapple. Grenades, maybe. Oh, hang on. I don't know what happened there. I've lost my weapon and I've got to max my pistol again. Well, that's unfortunate. A battleship? Oh no, it's a submarine. Uh, oh, I do not like these controls. Now, again, I've never played... I've, in fact, actually, I've not played uh, Metal Slug out second mission at all. So this, I have no idea what to expect whatsoever. But, um... I do not like these controls. They are not great. Okay, mines. Oh dear. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> okay, well, I've got a... Uh, I'm in a dinghy. I've got to avoid these mines. And instead of shooting, I, it's, it's a paddle button. Okay, these are, okay, those are mines. So what were the other things then? Were they? Okay, so we still, we still got an opportunity to uh, progress. Pineapple. Thankfully we didn't have to do that whole submarine thing. Which is nice because that was that wasn't pleasant. Oh, hello, we've got another hostage up here. Um, can't get up there. Though. Oh, I want to turn into a frog just. <laughs> the tank can duck. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. I guess. I 
<laughs> okay. Heavy machine gun. Oh, oh, this is one. I thought the bus thing. Well, we'll leave it there. That one, I don't think I enjoyed as much as the first one. But we are not done yet, not by a long shot. Um, we are going to now delve into what SNK are probably known for the most, and that's their one-on-one -on -one fighting games. So I've got a selection of these lined up. And what's the first one? Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to go with something a little bit different here. A game that deals with only female combatants, as it says there in the intro. This is SNK Gauss Fighters. Now who have we got? My, Yuri, Athena, Leona, oh Leona, what happened last time darling? Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. Um, Akari, Shiki, Shermi, and Nakaruru. I like Nakaruru. Who are we going to go for? Let's go for Mai. Turn? Me? Pa. Okay, that's Leona. So do I get some... I get some um, revenge for what happened last time when I accidentally selected her. Now as we can see here, once again, you know, the graphics are nice and big and you can see what's going on. They're, okay, they're, again, they're a bit cheapified, but there's nothing wrong with that. It plays nicely. It runs very nicely with two buttons. There we go. My Shiranui beats Leona in SNK Gals Fighters. Worked off a lot of stress. Yeah, I guess. But this isn't the only fighting game, obviously. We've got a couple more lined up, so uh, let's check out some of the other ones, shall we? Now, this is a uh, series that they're kind of quite known for. Of, I don't know if it's fallen out of favour recently, but um, it's one of the first SNK fighting games I think I played. Not this version, but uh, another one. I think it's real bout. But yes, this is Fatal Fury F Contact. Now, all the, all the characters we've got here Shang Fei, Terry Bogard, Joe Higashi is his name? Kim Kapwan, Krauser, Geese Howard, Billy... I can't remember his name. Why do I want to say his name is Billy Kane? I don't know if it is so. Uh, Rick, Andy Bogard, Mai, Shiranui, and Yamazaki. Now, if we're playing a Fatal Fury game, we've got to, we've got to play as Terry Bogard, right? Um, and let's have a bit of brotherly conflict, shall we? Terry Bogard versus Andy Bogard. Those um, character portraits are quite nice. Round one. We can see that this is following the uh, the theme that we've seen thus far. But 
a nice combo system there, actually. Oh, so look at that. I nearly, nearly had a uh, perfect on him. But anyway. Round two. Okay, this, this moves, this is a little bit smoother than Gal's Fighters. I don't know what happened there. But uh, yeah, this, this, is, this seems to play, I mean Gal Fighters was quite nice. But, um, yeah, this, this seems to be playing a little bit smoother. So, sorry Andy, we're going to have to take you out of the contest. <laughs> Terry throwing his cap. But again, we're going to leave it there. We're only going to do the one fight for these games. They are kind of fairly similar. Wow, I have no idea what's going on there. But let's get on to the next one then. Fatal Fury F Contact. Yeah, nice. I like it. This is one that I am not familiar with at all. I think I've heard of it, but I definitely haven't played it. This version or any other that may exist. Um, this is The Last Blade Beyond the Destiny. As I say, I think I've heard of it, so there must have been, there was probably a full version, an arcade version. Um, again, like I say, I've never played it, so I know of it. Here we've got Kaida, Moria, Okina, sorry if I'm butchering these names, Yuki, Akari, Zantetsu, Lee, okay that's random. Those character portraits of the night as well. Washizuka, Amano, okay, and some unlockable characters. Um, let's, we'll go with Kaida. Um, nice big portraits there. And we're going up against Yuki, okay. At the uh, Shimiji Pass. Nice a little uh, animated intro there. Cannot hold back. Okay, Yuki's got a Naganata. Well, it looks like a sort of Naganata. I have a sword, a katana. Okay, that hurt a little. Okay, we've got our sort of rolling... The, um, what's the word? I can't remember now. A sort of rolling recovery. Okay, this, this is a little bit more, I mean, it plays well. It's, again, it's, it's fairly similar to Fatal Fury and Gal's Fighters and King of Fighters and things like that. But I don't know, there's something about this that it just seems, I don't know, to me, I don't know if it's because it's, it's, it's weapons based or I don't know why, why that would be too much of an issue for me, but it, there just seems something off about this one. I don't know what it is. I mean, it looks nice, it plays nice. But, uh, I don't know what it is. There's just something about this one that it's, it's not gelling as... What is a dash? It's just not gelling as much as um, the other ones did for me. Oh. Wow. Okay, well that's a super, I guess. I don't know how to do my super attacks, but um, um, I don't know what happened there. Like the character just kind of went off and did her own thing for a moment. Um, okay, I'm assuming it's Kaidi. Uh, Kaidi, a um, female. I thought I thought it was a girl's name. 
I could be wrong though. I apologise if I'm getting that completely confused with other things. Yeah, this one, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sort of gelling with this one as much as I did with the other ones. Again, it looks nice, it plays well. But um, yeah, there's just something about that one. So let's move on, let's continue. Can't keep loafing forever, nope. Let's move on then. Again, now another series that SNK are known for, another weapons-based fighting game. Samurai Showdown 2. It's got to be, it's obviously got to be Hamaru or um, Nakaruru, but uh, I think we'll stick with Hamaru. Um, I don't know what the differences are, but okay. Episode 1, Approaching Evil. Sounds sinister. Story mode. All youngsters finish here. Who's saying that? Because I don't think um, Halmaru can really be called a, a, a youngster. Oh, that, again, I don't know what happened there. For me, I don't know if this is having the same issues as Last Blade did because it's kind of maybe a weapons based fighting game. And again, I don't know why that should be an issue, but. We've finished the muff in a quick time though. Oh, we're night time now. Okay, so the, uh, the stages change with uh, passing time. I think it's it's getting used to how they how the games work. Um, I think if I played this or Last Blade a bit more, I'll get a bit more used to it. I mean that one, I, I, I prefer this one over Last Blade. It kind of it does play a little bit smoother. Um, but uh, yeah, now we've got one more. Sorry, Holy Forest, we're not going to be, uh, oh, even though it's Nakaruru, I don't want to beat up Nakaruru, um, but, uh, yeah, got a bit of a big one next, and, uh, then let's, we'll, we'll, we'll move on to something else, so stick around for that. Now this is a series that I absolutely love, and this is the closest you'll probably get to Street Fighter on the Neo Geo Pocket. Um, this is SNK vs Capcom Match of the Millennium, which was the first one in the crossover series. Um, but I think on the consoles it was actually called Capcom vs SNK. Um, there was a SNK SVC Chaos, which was a little bit less well received um looked amazing I, I myself never played that one but snk versus cap sorry capcom versus snk 2 is probably one of my all-time favorite fighting games um but uh let's see how this one stacks up okay so we've got our SNK characters on the left and Street Fighter characters on the right. Let's have a look. Kyo, Terry, Ryo, Iori, Mai, Halmaru, Nakaruru, Athena, Leona. Okay, then we have Guile, Dan, Dan Hibiki, 
Sakura, Zangief, Felicia, Chun Li, Mulligan, Ken, and Ryu, of course. Right, I'm, I'm a bit of a Ken fanboy, so we're gonna go with Ken. Um, who are we against there? Is that Athena? Dotonbori, Japan. Okay, yes, it is Athena. Okay. How chunky these character sprites are. Loving it. Haha! -ha. I don't think so, lady. And there you go, there's a super combo just for good measure. Which I obviously totally meant to do. I wasn't even paying attention to the power bar, to be honest with you. Oh, there you go. KO. Yes, I won. Of course you did, Ken. Round two. there. Finish them off with a super combo. That's how you do it guys. Okay right well we're not gonna fight Hamaru. Um, again we're just gonna do one but uh, yeah that was the fighting games I wanted to uh, show. This is quite a nice stage though. Mount Rushmore in the background. Um, so let's let's finish up with something a little bit calmer than repeatedly punching each other in the face. Now this is something a little bit different. No fireballs, no punching each other, or well, not much, I dare say. This is Neo Turf Masters, which is an SNK golf game. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the world's biggest golf fan, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of show this one, because why not? Just something a little bit different. Young hero. I mean, I don't know what any of this means, really. So we're going to go with the uh, the all rounder, I guess. Uh, Fuji, Arizona, or Baden. Oh, we'll stick with the Japanese course. Fujiyama Oriental Golf Club for the Japan Classic. Okay. Three round start. Okie dokie. Right, hole number one. 426 yards, that's the distance, par 4, that's the strokes I've got. See, I know that much. So, um... Okay. I still... I want to hit it straight-ish. Oh, right, okay. Um, I'm looking at different meters there on the left hand side. I have never played this before so I really don't know um, how this controls. I'm on the fairway which is nice. We want to do another one of those I reckon. I mean again the graphics look quite nice. I mean it's 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 a it's a golf game. It's not going to be you know the best looking thing on the planet is it? But I mean it looks nice. I don't know if I've overshot that now. On the green, I bounced off the green. Okay. I think I could do with... Okay, up and down change my clubs. Um, 
If I just hit it hard with a putter, oh, have I got 27 yards? I mean, the fairway's fairly flat, so let's see what happens. Close, close, close. Oh, look at that. Off the fairway. And I finish this video on a high, on a golf game with a birdie. Now look at that. Anyways, this has been my look at the uh, the Neo Geo Pocket. Um, I do miss this little console and some of the games, to be honest with you. Um, it's been great going back and playing them a little bit. As I said before, I do want to potentially do Sonic Pocket Adventure. Um, but we'll see what the future holds. So, anyways, I just want to say thank you for sticking with me through this look at the uh, Neo Geo Pocket. And uh, I hope to see you for the next video. So until then, take care and I'll catch you later. Bye-zee-bye.